queremos. Abogados. Padre, lo queremos. I am Mark Levine, proud to be together with my colleague and partner in this effort, Vanessa Gibson, sponsor of Intro 214. Yeah. And I am so thrilled that we are joined by a stellar, stellar group of fellow leaders. We're going to hear from all of them. But I want to quickly acknowledge our public advocate, Tis James. President Ruben Diaz Jr. Yeah. Council Member Mark Traeger. Yeah. Council Member Rafael Espinal. Yeah. State Senator Gustavo Rivera. Yeah. Assembly Member Dick Godfrey. Yeah. District Leader Johnny Rivera. Yeah. Right. An amazing group of people. We are more than just a coalition. We are a movement, a movement to win justice for tenants in housing courts. Yes. There is no fairness in any court when only one side has an attorney. That's right. But that is the reality today for tens of thousands of tenants who face the threat of an eviction. That is not justice, and we are here to change that. We are here to bring fairness to housing court by guaranteeing a right to counsel for every low-income tenant. We are, here to pass, we are here to pass intro 214. Yay! I'm proud to introduce one of our partners in this effort, CASA. Is that yeah! Represented by the great Carmen Vega Rivera who's going to be my co-MC. Take it away, Carmen. Good morning, everyone. Hey. Hey. Good morning, hey. Carmen. Hey. So I, too, am honored to be here in front of you. And I can say for myself and all the tenants who have been taken to court without legal representation that today is a very important day. We waited two years, two years, and finally we have a hearing. But this is not over today. We want the mayor and the speaker to pass intro 214 by the end of the year. When do we want her to pass it? Yeah. Yeah. What do we want? Right to so. so today is the story work? about the tenants. Yeah. And if you have not experienced being taken to court and being harassed continuously, relentlessly by your landlord, well, look at my face, but then turn around and look at all my neighbors. Yeah. It's, a, it's a mosaic of people. It doesn't matter your race, your income, where you're from, what your education is. When a landlord wants you out and he wants to harass you because he wants to displace you, everybody is being pushed out. So today is about us. And we are demanding that intro 214 be passed immediately. We do not have another year to wait. We waited so many years for this. So with that, I want to thank, you know, my friend, Mark. I've known him in another life, our city council. And as well as my city council rep in the Southwest Bronx, Vanessa Gibson. I'd like her to come up to the mic. All right, Vanessa.
recognizing the inequity we face in housing court through relentless efforts through countless visits, lots of advocacy and letters, and making sure that our voices were heard today has arrived. We recognize that legal representation is about fairness and equity. It is about balancing the scales of justice in housing court, giving tenants an option, giving them power when they go to housing court. Too many families face unscrupulous landlords, they face harassment by their landlords, and they are simply pushed and priced out. That ain't right. Thousands and thousands of families face eviction every single day. That ain't right. In Bronx County alone, we've seen 11,000 families face eviction. That ain't right. When you give tenants legal representation, you empower them. You give them power and knowledge. You give them an opportunity to have their voices heard in court. This is about stabilizing families, keeping families in their home and not on the streets of our city. This is about addressing the crisis of homelessness. Too many families are living in shelters every single day and they look just like us. That ain't right. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, we stand here collectively united in one voice with one purpose to save our families, to save our children, to save our tenants. Intro 214 is about the fundamental right that housing is a right and not a luxury. It is a fundamental principle by which we base our values on. And so I am proud to stand here and represent thousands of families in the West Bronx who don't feel that they have a voice Ladies and gentlemen, we hear you, and we're going to stand with you every step of the way. Passing Intro 214 is a step of progress. We applaud the administration for the work we have already done in civil legal services, but we are not done yet. Until we get universal right to counsel, then our work is not done. So stand with us, do not give up, because intro 214, we're going to work until it is passed and put it to local law. Thank you all for being here and join us later on at our hearing. Fight, fight, fight. Housing is a right. I would like to acknowledge an incredible citywide progressive leader and role model, our public advocate, Tish Chang. I am a uh, former legal aid attorney. And um, when I went into housing court to represent tenants, I discovered that 90%, 90% of landlords are represented by council, but 90% of tenants are not. And most of these tenants are low income and people of color, and they have to represent themselves. And when they represent themselves, they are evicted from their homes almost 50% of the time. By contrast, in those times when tenants have access to an attorney, they win 90% of their cases. Yes. We Woo. need to level the playing field. Oh, yeah. And this is not about winning and losing because the losses are devastating. They have catastrophic consequences. Evictions are one of the leading causes of homelessness. No, evictions are one of the leading causes of homelessness. Yes. And we are experiencing in this city the highest level of homelessness since the Great Depression. It's unacceptable. And although the argument against this law, this bill, is that we're not receiving our fair, fair, our fair share of funds, 
from Albany and Washington. And that is true. And we need to do a better job and hopefully in 40 some odd days, the cavalry will come to Washington. Yeah. <laughs> Think about that for a moment. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is this is a bill that will reduce, that currently, the evictions reduce the number of affordable apartments in the city because many tenants are forced out of rent stabilized units so that landlords can increase the rent by 20, 30, and 50 percent. 52 percent of all evicted tenants were evicted from a rent stabilized apartment. Evictions are real. They are existential threat to are far too many New Yorkers and far too many low-income people in the city of New York. And all of us can do something about it. We must all do, we must all ensure that tenants, when they walk into court, they are empowered with an attorney so that they could stand on an equal playing field with their landlord. They've got to bring in some power, some might, and that might lands, stands with the Legal Aid Society and attorneys who again represent the interests of the public. As a public interest attorney, I am proud to stand with my fellow lawyers at the Legal Aid Society and all public interest attorneys to say that this is the way that we must go and stand up for those without a voice and stand up for those without a lawyer and stand up for those who are ignored and disrespected in housing court. When you walk into court with a lawyer, change, attitudes change, the way that they treat you changes. And what we want now is respect for tenants, and we want power, and we want lawyers, and we want them to be treated with respect and stop the level of evictions and homelessness in the city of New York. I want to start out by thanking uh, CASA and all the organizations. I want to really thank Mark Levine and Vanessa Gibson for keeping this issue alive. I will tell you, this has been at least a multiple decade fight. Anyone who has ever gone to housing court and tried to help a tenant through the legal morass knows full well that it is not a fair fight when one side goes in with a trained lawyer that gets paid a whole lot of money to spend a whole lot of time evicting people, and someone who comes in, a senior, or someone with a family has to take off work just to get a day in court. Without that attorney, you are at a total disadvantage. And what really happens in housing court doesn't even take place in front of the judge. It takes place in the back benches, in the corners, downstairs where nobody is watching, the landlord lawyer sitting with a tenant who may not speak English, who may have language barriers, and that tenant is being asked to sign a stipulation that basically evicts them within three, four, five, six months or a year. What goes on in housing court is unregulated, it's a mess, and it's causing thousands thousands of people to be evicted and then people say well why do we have 60,000 people living in homeless shelters 23,000 of them are children you know why because we have closed our eyes for decades and this is why we have lost think about this from 2000 to 2012 the study by my office shows that we've lost 400,000 apartments they used to rent for a thousand dollars or less and that is why we have a city of very, very wealthy people, enclaves for poor people, and nothing in the middle, and it is draining our soul in this city. So here's what we have to do. We have to pass this bill. It is critical. But here's something else we have to say. Because people have asked me, well, this is going to cost some money. This is going to cost some money. And I'm telling you, other states and other cities around the country have put together the ability to offset those costs. We should be exploring that at this hearing. We should be doubling down because truly, in this particular issue, an ounce of prevention is truly worth a pound of cure. And we have to do this today. I want to say to the council members, 
this is a long time coming, but your courage and your ability to stand up against the special interest is truly a magnificent thing to witness. Thank you all very much. All right. All right. Es algo que va a proteger a aquella persona que lamentablemente no tienen abogado cuando se encuentran en el sistema judicial y cuando un, 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 un casero tiene abogado y tiene un equipo de abogados. La realidad es que cuando estamos hablando de gente que están perdiendo sus hogares, una gran parte de esa causalidad es que la gente no tiene representación legalmente. So I'm here today, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm gonna say the majority of my comments or my testimony. But I want to thank Levine, I want to thank Vanessa Gibson, all of the 30 some odd members of the city council who have signed on to intro 214. 42, 42. 40, over 40. <laughs> I want to thank CASA, the union, all the groups all around the city for letting their voice yeah. speak of homelessness and displacement, it's a very complex situation with many complex ways to deal with it. You know, we have to provide jobs and we're doing that in the Bronx and throughout the city of New York. I know my colleagues are working on that. We have to make sure that people have higher salaries. That's the reason why we all joined the fight for 15 in the state of New York. So we're doing that. We have to deal with mental health issues, but we also have to deal with the reality that so many folks are being in, put in a situation where they become homeless or displaced because there's not an equal playing field. I say this, I say this when you look at housing court answers, they came out with a report that in 2015 alone there were almost 22,000 eviction cases. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not proud to say that about a third of those were in my beloved borough of the Bronx. That's right. And then when you look at the fact that when you take someone who has legal representation, they have a 77% chance of not having an eviction warrant simply by having that legal mind sitting right next to them. The time is now. Don't tell us to wait any longer. Because when you need our vote, when you need our support to pass housing ordinance, when you need us for MIH or ZQA, when you need us for other things, it happens at a snap of a finger. When you need us now to rezone areas like Jerome, we can't have that conversation without having the conversation of legal representation. And so what we are saying here today is, let's have an equal playing field. This is not a shot at anyone. Estamos aquí simplemente diciendo que no hay una, una área donde el inquilino se pueda proteger como el casero. This city, this state, this nation is built on justice. <laughs> and so today we have the hearing, but moving forward, let's pass intro 214. Thank you. Councilmember Andy Cohen, co-sponsor of the bill. Woo! Council Councilmember Antonio Reynoso, also a co-sponsor. Councilmember Carlos Menchaca is here or was he? Also a co-sponsor. And our ally in the assembly, newly re-elected, Victor Pichardo. We'll be hearing from all of them, but now I want to call up a great ally in this cause, State Senator Gustavo Rivera. Many years ago, before I, moved, before I lived in the Bronx, I lived very briefly in East Harlem. I remember coming home one day 
I knew that I was about 10 days late in the rent. I came back home and I found an eviction notice on my door. Needless to say, I was a little panicked. I went inside, I called a friend of mine, and I was lucky enough to have a friend whose wife was a housing lawyer. She got on the phone and she said, don't worry about it, you're not going to get evicted. Bring your papers to my office tomorrow and we'll be all right. I was not evicted from that, from that, from that apartment, but I was lucky because I had someone that I could call who had an attorney just right next to them sitting on the couch. That is not the reality for thousands of people every single day in the city. The reality is that, as the borough president said, a third of the evictions that happen happen in the Bronx. The one borough, the one only, but the one and only borough where people, where working class people, can still afford to live in the city. So we have to make sure that we keep people in their homes, and that is what this bill is about. This is why I'm here to support it. Hace muchos años yo vivía antes de vivir en el Bronx vivía en Isarlo. Me recuerdo un día venir a mi casa y cuando encontré una, un papel que decía que yo estaba, que me iban a, a sacar, me iban a desalojar de mi casa. Pude llamar a una amiga cuya esposa era una abogada. Yo tenía suerte, pero la realidad es que miles de nuestros, de nuestros vecinos no tienen esa misma suerte, no tienen esa misma situación. Por eso es que estoy aquí apoyando esto, porque es tan simple como que cualquier persona que va a una corte debe tener el derecho a ser representado. So that is very basically why I'm here. Any person that goes to court needs to make sure that they are represented. And certainly as it refers to evictions, we got to keep people in their homes. Thank you so much. All right. I want to call up one of the co-sponsors of our bill and a great ally, Council Member Rafael Espinal. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure being here. Just to hear the 42 council members that signed on to this bill and to see the diversity and the levels of government here just proves how important this bill is. I represent North Brooklyn, Bushwick, one of the hottest neighborhoods in the city where people are being pushed out of their homes every single day because a landlord wants to make an extra buck. Yeah, we have lawyers on the ground, but we don't have lawyers in the courtrooms to represent them when they're navigating through that complex system. In 2015, 22,000 people were evicted from their homes. That number is way too high, which is why we have to do everything we can do to make sure that the rent-stabilized apartments remain rent-stabilized, to make sure we continue preserving affordable housing. And the way we do that is by putting lawyers in our court system to represent our tenants. So I want to thank my colleagues again. It's really an honor working with Mark Levine and Vanessa Gibson. Thank you for all the work you do on behalf of all New Yorkers. All right. All over New York City, landlords and developers are doing everything they can think of to destroy affordable housing, to force low and moderate income and even middle income New Yorkers out of their homes so they can rebuild them into high priced housing for wealthier New Yorkers. We have lost hundreds of thousands of units of affordable housing to greedy landlords and developers destroying affordable housing. One of the illegal things they do to force people out of their homes is illegal eviction proceedings. Taking people to court when they really don't have a legal right to do that. And so the vast majority of tenants who end up in court without a lawyer really have no way to fight back. In the last year or so, Mayor de Blasio has put a lot more money into providing lawyers for a lot more tenants, and it has had an amazing result in reducing evictions. That's really important and really good. Today we need to take the next step, and 214 will make a lawyer in housing court for people who can't afford it not just a privilege, but a right. Yes. That's what we need to do. Thank All you. Right. Thank you. Next up, I'm proud to introduce another co-sponsor of 214, a champion for tenants, our colleague, Council Member Mark Traeger. Let's give it up for Council Members Mark Levine and Vanessa Gibson. Right. I am Councilman Traeger from South Brooklyn. I want to say very clearly, 
in a city with a budget of over $85 billion. No one should be on the street in a city in a budget with over $85 billion. No tenant should enter a courtroom without a lawyer. And it's very important that we understand that the word tenant is not some abstract term. These are our mothers, our fathers, our grandmothers, our grandfathers. These are the people who built the city. And where is our morality? The people who built this city should not be priced out of the city. It is very clear to me and very clear to the people behind me that housing rights are human rights. We will not stop mobilizing, advocating, until we get this bill passed and signed into law. In solidarity. And so the testimonies will continue. I want to bring from Brooklyn City Council Member Carlos Menchaca. My name is Carlos Menchaca and I represent one of the frontline communities in this in this battle against our developers, against our landlords, in our communities. And so all I'm going to do is say that I'm with you. I'm here representing the immigrants of our community that often enter these spaces without lawyers. And this right to counsel is the important step next after we do so much and we've already done so much to preserve our rights. Lawyers help. On the immigration, fr immigration front, we know that lawyers help immigrants when they're in deportation proceedings. This is all what we're trying to do in the city council right now. When you see the millions of dollars that we've added to the budget, it's for our lawyers. We need to, we need to preserve our ability to fight with the biggest guns we can in the court. So I'm here to make sure that you get that love from Sunset Park. Thank you to Woo! council members Gibson and Levine, and let's get this going. All right. Woo! I want to call up now an incredible ally in this fight, Assembly Member Victor Pichardo. Thank you. I will be, I'll be very brief because I know my colleagues have a lot more important things to say. I need to make sure that they're on this, uh, uh, this hearing real quick. So first of all, I want to thank my colleagues, Mark Levine, the, uh, Council Member Vanessa Gibson, all my colleagues who are standing in, in this fight. First and foremost, we, we speak about this issue and some of the folks on the other side call us bleeding heart liberals, that we don't understand how housing works, that we don't understand the economics of it. I understand the economics of it. You know what the economics are? It costs this city, on average, hear this, I want to make sure that the news media understands this. It costs on average, the city of New York, $3,000 to house a homeless family in one of the shelters. So imagine that you... $3,000 for a month, per month, per family, per unit. That's $3,000. Imagine if we would have been able to invest that money into developing more affordable housing in this city and making sure that tenants have the, the legal representation that they deserve. Imagine that. Imagine all that money that the city was saved. It's not about making sure that people, we do good for people to feel good. This makes economic sense not only for our city, but for our state. And I want to make sure that I recognize my colleagues in the city council and see having the foresight to making sure that folks who are going through these tribulations who don't understand what their rights are actually have access to resources to make sure that they have the best hand for this fight. Rápidamente en español le quiero decir que la gente del otro lado que están diciendo nosotros que no entendemos cómo ayudar a la gente para a comprar un apartamento, rentar un apartamento, no entendemos la economía de eso. Pero yo le quiero decir todo, a todas las personas que entienden esto, para que la persona, una familia que está desalojado, para que se la metan en el shelter, cuesta, cuesta 3 mil pesos por averaje, por mes, por unidad, por familia, para, para mantenerlo a una persona, a una familia, en un shelter. 
Y eso no tiene sentido económico de ninguna manera. Pues imagínense, tomando ese dinero, invirtiéndolo en representación legal, invirtiéndolo en construyendo de nuevos hogares asequibles para nuestros vecinos y las personas que nosotros representamos en la, a nivel estatal, a nivel municipal. Imagínense eso, ese dinero que la ciudad se va a ahorrar de eso. Eso porque estamos peleando para eso, no solamente para mejorar y defender a nuestros vecinos cuando van a la corte en proceso de desalojamiento. Pero además de eso, porque tiene sentido económico no solamente para esta ciudad, pero para este estado. Y con eso dicho, vamos a pelear hasta que pasamos el intro 214. Y yo sé que entre nosotros tenemos aliados en el Consejo Municipal que va a empujar esto hasta que pueda pasar. Y con eso All dicho, right. muchísimas gracias. to council. Enjoy. 